figured I'd do another little update on the Dodge. Um, still got to go through these two wheel cylinders. Uh, it's clearly leaking. Currently changing my oil. The best way to tell your wheel cylinder is leaking. As you can see, right on the inside of the tire there, it's all wet. It's coming out from up there. It's not a line. Um, I'm not here to change my oil. I know it leaked a little bit. You can tell my oil pans had a very bad life. Looks to me like the front main, uh, uh, front main uh, seal has a leak. And the oil pan's leaking. And I'm not sure why my transmission's all wet, but here we are. And that might be an oil pump. Looks like it might be leaking. Um, so I pretty much hurried this thing together and got it running, and now we're here. Still needs a lot more work. I'm going to do brake stuff later today, I think, if I get time and the weather lets me. Um, but change your oil. Obviously, you've got your... This is with the 231 in line 6, not the V8. Clear you've got your turn plug right there. And some people have an oil filter. I'm not one of them. Yeah, sorry about that. I just had a guy stop and tell me I like my car. But I don't actually have an oil filter. But if you did, that would be roughly right there where those two studs are. That's right where it would be connected at. And obviously putting oil back in, you can just go right through the breather. Just pop that off and fill it up. It goes right down to the oil pan. So, that's pretty much how you do it. Um, and, yeah, I already said I'm going to do wheel cylinders later today. Assuming the weather holds off, it's kind of darkish out. It's been trying to rain all morning, but... Yeah, and one thing I know that's important to kind of look at with these old cars is your oil plug. Mine had all this sludgy residue on the end. So I'm happy I'm changing it. It's needed it. I don't know when the last guy last changed it because this engine is out of a 51 that I got probably five years ago. The car's not had any really miles on it at all since I got it. Um, other than it's gotten tuned up and went to town. You know, this will be its third trip off the farm in this thing's life since the 70s. So hasn't had a whole lot of miles on it. So I know I'm going to clean this up and put it back in. Um, sadly, this thrust washer... A little bit cracked up, but I think she'll be all right. So yeah, I'm gonna clean that back up and get this thing filled with oil. So that's all the update is for this thing for now. I'm gonna try to show a little bit more on this front right brake since I already kind of know what I'm doing. Doing the her yes, the front right since I did the front left, but yeah, we're getting there.